gentlemen. So today, let's have the real talk about 1.04, refunds, bugs, issues, etc. Yes, we're back with Planet Zoo. And it's going through a little bit of a rough patch at the moment with a lot of issues. Either breaking people's zoos, just flat out deleting them, or the game lagging or just performing so badly that the game's basically unplayable. Now, on this point, I've seen a lot of people saying... Oh, that's your system, stupid. Buy a better PC. And that's not entirely true. This is something that Frontier themselves have actually come out and said, look, we're aware that there are issues with regards to performance, things like that. So I will say, if you've had any problems with the game, it doesn't have to be performance related, it could be any issue uh, within the game itself, jump over onto, and I'll put the link in the description for this, jump over to the Frontier support area, Put down what your query is, what issue you're having, and they'll look at it. If they get enough, they kind of they'll action it, and you can you can see uh, how it's going and how it's processing. So the more we do that, the more we can make this game good. Now let's get on to the meat and potatoes of this video. So back in the beta, Cuddles and I spoke about how nice it was to feel that we were we're actually part of a real beta, not just a, a marketing hype machine. Yes. I am looking at you, World of Warcraft. <clears throat> Frontier have heard what people said during the, the beta issues, and they have created things like challenge mode. And they said, yes, we'll create features where you could turn off things that made the game harder. So say, you know, animals dying through old age, diseases, things like that. So you, you could focus on building the zoo that you really wanted, the zoo of your dreams, rather than having these things getting in the way. And that's all good. But that's fantastic. And it's a big reason why we're not seeing the anger so far that one would say from a game released by, hmm, maybe EA in its current state. We also said that these features were great. It's fantastic that you're adding these things and you're listening to the community. But so long as they don't take away from getting the issues that a lot of us had in the beta fixed. There are a lot of issues that people saw and were worried about. And we were like, well, you've got a month until launch. You can get these fixed in time. All is good. It feels like we're still trying to fix and balance many of those aspects. But now we're a month into launch. And granted, it's incredibly complex. It's extremely difficult to any simulator to manage. They all launch generally with, with some bugs. And you can... The, the annoying thing is, you can feel that Frontier know where they want Zoo to go. They know the final place where the game truly meets their vision. We're not there yet, but it would be great to share in this vision, to hear about what it is that they're looking for from each section of the game. Now, many will say, no, oh, it isn't for us to know. You're not a game developer. Shut up, dude. Shut up and just play the game, or don't. Go away if you don't want to play it. <laughs> and I would agree with you with regards to if the game wasn't out yet. If the game hadn't launched, and we weren't currently live beta testing, having paid for the game, now I'm saying, use the fans, use us to shape the game. Like, 100%. I want this game to succeed. I want it to be as amazing as I can I can see how good it can be. And I know Frontier know it, and I, I can feel their frustration at how things are going at the moment. And I just, oh, use us. We're not going to suddenly, you know, get pitchforks out to use us. There's two, there's two situations. The way Zoo currently is at the moment, there's two situations how this plays out. One, the developer says nothing. They just keep doing changes. They keep doing things, keep tweaking things, and they fix one thing, but it makes another thing worse. And then they roll back some changes, but they were things that people liked. And then, but it tweaks other things, and then people are just like, ah, oh, no, I'm out. I just want a refund. I'm not, I'm not dealing with this now. And you start losing the the fan base. You start losing the patience of people. The second option is the developer says, okay, this is what we're going for. This is the goal. This is how we want the gameplay to feel in the different modes. You know, we're happy at the moment with how Sandbox is playing out. A few more tweaks with that. Challenge mode, we're going to kind of add a few bits and pieces. We kind of, this is what our vision for challenge mode is going to be. Yes, it's offline mode, but we want to we want to give it its own little flavour. That's what we want from that, and this is what we want from franchise. It doesn't need to be massive, these are. It just needs to give us an idea of the direction. Then when they roll something out to the community, 
we can say, well, this works. This feels great. Ghost, or, you know, with what you told us, this feels really good. This, not so much. This is, this doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel good. Uh, how the game's flowing. It feels too harsh, or it makes this bit too easy. Or it makes this bit pointless. So, and it gives it gives them better feedback because we know what we want. Or as in, we know what what they want, what we want. And we understand. We can we can better. I'm interjecting here. Grim, you cannot make a statement saying about communication and then go, bada, 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 bada. Okay? Just shush. Stop it. Carry on with your next point. Okay. <laughs> so, let's carry on. So, in those two options, you got the fans work with the developer, the game lives on and on, becomes a big success, that it should be, rightfully so. Zoo's a fantastic game at its core. It brings in a ton of money for the developer, and, whoop, whoop, it brings us... Happiness as gamers. It's a perfect combination. Now, the notes from the Frontier Planet Zoo forum for this update are the first that I have seen where fans have not understood what it was that Frontier wanted. Some were saying, we actually like the challenge. Whoa, 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 why are you changing refunds? It made us go back to parts of the zoo that I'd sort of moved on from. I had to reevaluate it. I had to look at it, change things. And it actually made made the game for the better i liked it it's the first time i've seen this the first time i've actually seen fans vocally going i don't get what it is you're trying to do i like this change so i'm going i haven't even had a chance to be able to play it it's really frustrating it's really annoying i don't know i ah there's so many different voices before it's always been thank you thank you you're awesome thank you keep doing an amazing job and i'm not taking away from that i'm not saying frontier are not doing a great job they're doing an absolutely outstanding job. They're talking to us. They are trying to get things out there. They're trying to get things fixed. I salute them for it. And as I say, the game is only a month out. This is not me. This is not me bitching. This is not me moaning. It's not me having issues. This is simply... I am literally saying, as a fan of this game and not wanting it to see it go the way I've seen many games go when they have not reached out, when they could have done to the community and said, okay, look, help us. Help us make this game great. Go for it. This, this is what we want. Are we succeeding? Are we not succeeding? That's what I'm saying is use us now. We are here. We are literally playing hundreds of hours of this game and testing it for you constantly. Use us. Use us. So everything I've seen makes me believe that Frontier will make this right. And I believe in three months time we will have an amazing game and look forward to many DLCs. Maybe even Aquatic? please but please for the love of god fix everything and balance it all before you release a credit else that's gonna be a nightmare oh my god but yeah <laughs> as i say i honestly do believe that frontier can turn this around and we're gonna have a good experience but all i'm saying frontier is talk to us talk to us i've been part of so many games so many different communities you have an amazing community here you have great community managers use the resource because we are here only only thing we want is to make this game better that's it it's all we want and it's there it's 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 there is a true gem of a simulator if we just keep working at it but if you keep doing things like you know 1.03 and 104 which had great parts you know 103 had some great things in there but it just messed up so much stuff that now you 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 were like five steps forwards and then 104 comes out and you're like 10 steps back again. It just feels you've got to rebuild all that trust again. And all that just ah, in the community. It's frustrating. One final note, because I could ramble on for days, as you all well know. One final note. And that'd be I'd like to do a massive shout out to Shanti from the community team. Who did an absolutely outstanding job yesterday on chatting to fans on Twitter on the forum keeping people informed it means a hell of a lot like an absolute ton so for instance shanti yesterday i had posted in the forum along with many others rudy was in there so actually i was really impressed rudy even said i actually kind of enjoyed the challenge you know of of refunds i liked that why did it disappear because we nobody knows so even guys as, as big and as cool and as awesome as rudy is didn't have a clue what was going on so shanti jumped in immediately and was like Hey guys, whoa, thanks for the feedback so far. We're actually not removing refunds from Planet Zoo entirely. The team is working on balancing it now. 
and are working on a feature where you will be given a breakdown of why refunds are taking place. We don't want our community to be confused when playing, so this breakdown will tell you why the refunds are happening, making it easier for you to improve your zoos. We are looking to implement this in a future update. Bang! And that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's why I have faith that we are going in the right direction in this game. I truly do. Keep up the amazing work. Use us as a resource because, as I said before, we only want to make this game great. But yeah, it means a huge amount, Shanti, for keeping us informed. So thank you for that. And everybody, have a great day. <laughs> have an outstanding day. And I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.